It's kinda dark out. I do think this fight is the light. Fight of the light. This is a rough draft, but fuck it, the time it was right. You ain't trapped, Selena, but you whack, Selena. Welcome back, Selena. I'm the real Latina. Bob, I'm the trap, Selena. Damn it, my gasolina. By Israel on March 31st, 1995, Selena was allegedly by gunshots. Ironically, March 31st is the same day that Nipsey Hussle was murdered by gunshots. And you were told that Yolanda Saldivar was her killer. But what if I told you to believe half of what you see and none of what you hear? I will also be exposing why the days in decided to change Selena's room from 158 to 150. Trust and believe, if you came here looking for numbers, you are going to get them. Nothing is a coincidence over here, and everything will be exposed. Last but not least, I'm going to give you exactly what you came here for, and I'm going to show you where Selena has been hiding at all these years. All my Latin community, all my fans of Selena, share this, send this to everybody that you know, because it can't be allowed no more. We are about to expose it. I promise y'all, if y'all ever learn gematria, you will never look at this system, this matrix, the same way ever again. A, B, C equals one, two, three. Without further ado, no coincidences here. Selena Perez, her last name, and all equal 34. And she was murdered on 34 date numerology. 3 slash 31. 3 plus 31 equals 34. Why does the place of death and her killer's last name both equal 86 and 32 in these same ciphers. Let me tell y'all something. When it numerically aligns like that, now we have to question if it's really real, if it ever happened. Shout out to my man Johnny Taylor on Instagram who alerted me to this right here. Yolanda Saldivar, the alleged killer, when you add up all the letters in her name, it equals 158. This alleged killing happened in room 158. So if I'm telling you that it never occurred and that the media has numerically scripted it to look that way, I would have to prove to you that this woman is that woman, right? <laughs> Get your popcorn ready. The date of Selena's and Cardi B are just numerically intertwined. What am I talking about? If you look at the top of the screen, March 31st and Bel Calis Al Menzar, which is Cardi B's government name, both of those equal 59. 31st and Cardi B. Both equal 125. And March 31 and Trap Selena. Hello, she told you who she was. They both equal 60 in a reverse reduction. If this is not numerically scripted, please explain this to me. Selena Quintanilla Perez equals 103. Days in, where she was allegedly killed at, equals 103. And Yolanda Saldivar, her birthday is September 19th. That day leaves 103 days left in the year. Cardi B's real name, Bel Calise, equals 27. One of her last names, Cephas, also equals 27. From Selena's to Cardi B's birthday, which is October 11th, that's a total of 27 weeks and five days. So remember that, 27 weeks and five days. Selena's March 31st leaves 275 days left in the year. No coincidence. But why did the days in change Selena's hotel room from 158 to 150? Well, they dropped it down, you know, eight numbers. Look at here. Eight equals 49. And Almanzar and Quintanilla both equal 49. That's Cardi B and Selena's last names, right? 31, 31 is the date. 86 Almanzar equals 86, and 23 is Selena's age. Y'all want me to show y'all how I know that Hollywood and the media is playing with y'all right in y'all face? Because why is it that Cardi B's last name and Selena's alleged killer last name match in three straight ciphers? That's crazy. That's crazy. 
Even if you don't know Jamatria, you still got to question that. Cardi B's first album, Invasion of Privacy, it released on 4 slash 6. Do y'all know from Selena's birthday to the release date of that album is 46 years? So what am I saying? I'm saying that Selena was 46 years old when this album released on 4 slash 6. And if you don't believe that, from Selena's date, which was 331, 1995, all the way up until the release date of Invasion of Privacy, Cardi B's album, that's a total of 23 years. Selena did at the age of 23. Selena's full name equals 122. Cardi B's birthday, October 11th, equals 122. Hell of a coincidence if you ask me. Here's your icing on the cake. When Cardi B made an appearance on Baby Shark, she played a character by the name of Sharky B, or whatever the case is, right? She posted this on her Instagram on Selena's birthday, right? Not only that, on this show, there was a dance that she made called the Seaweed Sway. Seaweed Sway matches Quintanilla in two separate cycles. Again, this is all numerically scripted. She's telling you exactly who she is, even through a, a kid's cartoon. There were so many things that I left out. And if this video has shocked you, just be prepared. You can go to my TikTok and go down my page. You'll see how many celebrities have been faking who they are. And a lot of my people know that. All right. So it's time to wake up. This one was uh, not as obvious, but once you've seen it, you've seen it. Now you know numerically how they did it. My name is B.Y. Israel. I don't do conspiracies. I do real ass information. And as always, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. <laughs> first, first. They saw me on the stage and said Selena was back. It's kind of dark out. I do think despite of the light, despite of the light, this is a rough draft.